Well, hey there, you two. PD Two Finger here. We just got back from the forge, Lamont Quarry. So this is an area. It's an outdoorsman's paradise, known for its trails, hiking, biking, and fishing. Now it's known for its extreme adventure park, known as the Forge, Lamont Quarries. This is really something to see. They offer all sorts of climbing towers, climbing walls, and aerial adventures along with the this network of zip lines that's really something to see there is paddle boat rentals there's canoeing there is biking and hiking and a drop-in pump track is what it's known as for bicycles it's really impressive there's an outdoor theater they're going to be doing outdoor music events Free movies in the park coming up September 12th is Jurassic Park. October 10th is Pixar's Coco. You definitely don't want to miss out on that. No alcohol permitted. First come, first serve. There's fine dining. There's this beautiful area they've got set up with fire pits where they serve food and alcohol. And there is a spectacular view of the sunset there. And also view of the people gliding in to this station uh, on these zip lines. So it's really something to see. They've knocked it out of the park. I spoke with uh, a good number of employees there. All of them were attentive. They were really friendly and I, I was impressed. I was really impressed because typically something like this, like Great America, okay? When I was a kid, there was nothing more that I look forward to. Like, Great America was even better than the 4th of July and Christmas. That day when you would get to go was spectacular. Now, as I got older, things changed at Great America. It became overcrowded, huge groups of people. The, the reek smell of sour, rotten soda pop or wasted food product. The park just smells. It smells so bad, uh, but I can't fake it anymore being there. It's just an assault on your senses. And then they put up Hurricane Harbor, which is full of piss and mildew. It just reeks. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it smells so bad. The last time I went, I couldn't take it. And I said I would never go again. So, hey, if you're looking for something to do this summer and the idea of being outside, but not like having a feeling like you're having a claustrophobia attack, because there's so many people uh, and not, you know, like having fresh air, like have it be like we went today and it was spectacularly beautiful, beautiful sunset. So hats off to the people at the forge. I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy and we're going to learn more about the forge Lamont. And honestly, we do all these these crazy races and things and for us it's fun and like that's where we train and that's our playground and so we said well how do we take like what's our playground and what so many of the rest of us in this community that love these things are doing and turn it into something that anyone literally from three to 93 of any age or ability could also enjoy mm -hmm. and that led us down the path to doing all kinds of diligence on the industry from outdoor recreation specialist stuff all the way out to like looking at other types of recreation activities and building models and trying to figure out, okay, how do we put a demographic model together and how do we right. put a psychographic model together and how do we look at numbers since that's what we do for a day job and sort of figure out how to build a really amazing thing. And right. it all came together over the last, honestly, it's been like four and a half years. Yeah, it's We've been, been kicking it around. Um, but the so, nice thing about that space out there is it's 300 acres. So mm -hmm. first and foremost, I mean, this is a big, big space. And it's also this amazingly historically significant space. The Illinois and Michigan Canal, right, which was the highway for bringing goods and services to and from Chicago and the Mississippi River and everywhere else, runs right through the middle of the property. Um, mm -hmm. So we're surrounded by this amazing natural history because it's also an old quarry site. And a lot of the stone that came out of that quarry system back in the 19th century went straight into downtown Chicago. Uh, Water Tower Place, for example, was built mm -hmm. out of Lamont Dolomite limestone. Um, so you've got this really cool historical area to go play in, which is awesome. And that's neat in its own right. But then as Chris will tell you, we're building some amazing uh, adventure experiences out there and, like they've never at a scale that's never been done before. Yeah, the big feature thing is uh, uh, an aerial adventure course. So it includes zip lines, uh, ropes courses, climbing elements. 
And typically, you know, a big zipline course will have 50 or 60, and we have 270. It's wow. enormous. And uh, one of the, so the, you know, one of the innovations we brought is every other zipline or uh, ropes course is linear. You, know, you can mm -hmm. do one thing, then another, and another, and you can't really have any choice. And if somebody's going slow, which is always the case, you spend 90% of your time waiting. In our case, you know a little bit about networks. Instead, you know, it's it's a packet switching design, uh -huh. meaning. <laughs> Every time you finish an element, you have choices on what you can do. So you can make it last longer, you can do more zip lines or more climbing or make it harder or easier. So the experience is so much better. You can do hundreds of elements all day long if you want. Right. And never What's right. cool too is we said, well look, most ropes courses are interesting and stuff, but let, let's make it different, make it cool. Let's give like the nine and a half million people around Chicagoland an excuse to come do something they'll, they, they can do a bunch of times over. And so yeah. we've, we've also designed uh, and are constructing these amazing tower systems that, you know, the, the, the tallest one's just under 120 feet tall, mm -hmm. and it looks like the Sears Tower splitting apart. The reason we did that and call it Skyscraper Tower, and we will never call it Willis Tower, <laughs> is <laughs> that your view Sorry. from <laughs> the top of this tower is the skyline of Chicago. Oh, I mean, it's right cool. there, and so it's kind of fitting, right? You're in this yeah. post-industrial zone, and like feeling like you're gonna fall off this tower because it literally is angled, and that single tower has more elements than most ropes courses mm -hmm. have in the entire thing. Wow. So they're huge. And these two X towers you can climb and then right. rappel off the top of, and there's these massive zip lines. And yeah. So if you are looking to build your skills as a mountain biker, whether you're, again, three or 93, like you, there, there's these systems called pump tracks, which are super fun to ride on, but they're great skills training uh, courses, really, for anyone at any age. And if you're really good, you're doing tricks and crazy stuff off of them. And if you're just learning how to ride, you're learning how to balance and how to turn, how to bank and do all sorts of skills. So you get better and better as you get onto our trails. And we're also creating really neat and unique the actual single track trail systems that are intermixed with our running trails. Mm -hmm. We even have fishing out there. Uh, some of the best fishing in Cook County will be right there at our yeah. park. Absolutely. Yeah, part of one of the ideas is instead of just a place where you could go and one person could do one thing, by having a range of activities with, of different types and skill levels, groups, whether it's a family or a couple or you know, a work event, different people could go out and do different things. So mm -hmm. that's you know, part of the, the thought. And then we add a bar and a restaurant and a music venue you know, so maybe you do stuff in the morning, you have lunch, you do stuff in the afternoon, listen to some music. Well, to us, it was essential that, you know, when we created this this three-tiered approach to an adventure park, of exhilarate, that's the crazy activities, entertain, which is music and food and all that kind of stuff, and educate, that we create an opportunity for everyone to come out and experience what everybody else can experience at their own level, mm -hmm. at their own physical ability, and at their own, um, I guess, uh, what fitness level as well. Mm -hmm. And so we've spent a lot of extra time and energy trying to incorporate into the ropes course uh, a whole system that will allow people who are disabled physically um, and who have other disabilities to be able to participate just like any of the rest of us could mm -hmm. that happen to be you know, uh, not physically disabled. And so we've designed it in such a way that, that anyone can come out and experience elements of the park and have a wonderful physical experience, um, but they can also enjoy the zip lines. So you know, we've reworked some of the systems to be able to bring people up from the ground, up to elevation, up at like 45 feet or so for one of the zip line systems to then experience what it's like to zip line over a 12 acre lake and almost a thousand feet and, and yeah. just really enjoy it. That is so cool. We're also working with a dear friend, um, Heather Hutchison actually, I have to throw a shout out to because she's so amazing, who has spent all kinds of time over the years building out programming, educational programming and content for these types of activities. So in addition to just being able to go out and like actually do the course, part of the educate uh, programming that we'll have there will also include workshops and day-long and week-long activities for people in the summertime. Again, whether they're uh, a 15-year-old uh, student or they're an eight-year-old kid, whether they're 100% um, physically able or not, to be able to come out and enjoy these activities right. and, and education. Which is so wonderful. So when you guys launch next summer, what are the what are the things that either aren't going to be available or that are sort of in phase two? Well, you can think of it like, you know, in some ways almost like a, a mall. You know, we'll have different stores that'll come and go based mm -hmm. on changes in the market. And for sure, you'll see different activities that we'll introduce in the future, new kinds of zip lines or new kinds of mm -hmm. activities, whether they're paddling or climbing. Um, you know, it, it depends a little bit on the market. Yep, um, sure. You know, we're, we're talking about, we were talking this morning about a new restaurant concept we'll probably introduce. 
So cool. every couple of years you'll see some new things. Yeah, so we'll be doing both sort of membership-based activities, right? So you can go in as an individual or as a family or family plus and have a single price you pay annually for uh, unlimited experiences at the park. Uh, our day passes at the end of the day, you know, list is $65 for an adult uh, and $50 for a youth, for a, for a young person uh, age thir uh, up to age 13. Mm -hmm. uh, but those passes, those prices actually give you access to everything in the park. So again, most places you go and you pay 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 bucks to do a thing, right? Rent a kayak for a couple hours, 20 bucks. You know, do a ropes course, $50 for mm -hmm. two hours of time. Our, our pass is literally all access. So you can come out, spend the first three hours roping and zip lining and climbing and having a great time, then go have a, uh, something to eat to recoup some of your energy and then grab one of our kayaks or grab one of our mountain bikes right. and go out and spend another two hours hanging out while your kids and parents and everyone else is with you are doing totally different activities. Built this park, we're building this park in Lamont through a public-private partnership with the village and the township of Lamont among other um, governmental agencies mm -hmm. and entities and things. And it took us, I mean, literally two and a half years to get to the point where we had a viable legal structure that would protect all parties, mm -hmm. that would maintain uh, open public access to what is, and a lot of the land is public space and therefore should be public and should be open. Right. Um, so we've all worn different hats along the way as we've worked those things out. Lamontquarries.com. Well, here we are, it's, it's getting dark, so we really needed more time to explore everything that the forge, Lamont Quarries, has to offer. Today I met a lot of good people, mostly young people. It seems like everyone who works here is happily doing their job. I really didn't see any slacking. Everyone I spoke to had a really good attitude, which is, I've never been to a business where I've experienced that. So hats off to upper management. Perhaps you're considering the morale of your employees. And that's a really wonderful thing. Now, I spoke to several employees and I want to mention standouts. Emily was thoughtful and helpful and attentive because a group of people approached. She paused dealing with me, went and took care of business with the paying customers and promptly returned to be very helpful and informative, letting me know spots we should make sure to not miss while we're here filming. I've never been here. There's a map, but I was too lazy and I wanted to speak to this young lady rather than try to decipher a map. So hats off to Emily, you did a great job. Adam was very professional, very knowledgeable to the point, extremely professional young man. Give that guy a raise and promote him. Max, the, uh, working over in the boating area, very young guy, thrilled to be here and he had a wonderful attitude and I enjoyed my conversation with him. Uh, so basically, we came here, we quickly had a look at everything they have to offer at the Forge Lamont. I wish I could afford a membership here. Uh, I can't only imagine the thrill. When I was coming up as a kid, I grew up by a pair of Commonwealth Edison po power lines, power towers, and we found some cable at the end of the pipeline and constructed our own zip line in between the two towers. The challenge was getting the, the, the cable taut, and we used some two by fours and spun that and were able to eventually get it really tight and it stayed that way until many years later they removed it. But we had a pl plastic sleeve that we had cut one side of it and you would pop that on and slide down. We would hold a large scented candle on the end of it and go down and wax that several times and with a fresh coat of wax on that cable I'll tell you and it was a good angle. It wasn't a zip line like this. Ours was like that. And you would, uh, you would boogie, boogie, boogie. Not safe. Lots of fun. So, hopefully one day, I'd, I'd love to be able to try it. I really would. Uh, but really, I'm hoping we can we can make music. My wife and I have been coming here and playing in the backwoods area with our kids, with the family band for many years. We've also been playing in the pavilion by the south lot. So maybe we'll get to play in a more uh, appropriate setting and have a little audience and be better better off for everyone involved, right? All right, thanks for joining me. Make sure if you're looking for something to do this summer, rather than go to Great America and deal with the smell, uh, the just horrible attitude of the employees at that place and uh, <laughs> uh, the crowds and the lines, come down to Lamont, check out the forge. 
definitely be worth your time for an adventure you'll never forget. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you around, hopefully at the Forge. Peace.